I think what I'd hope they most remember is her passion, um, her energy. I mean, both her positive, smiling, dancing energy, um, as well as her passion and, frankly, her frustration of things that aren't quite right that need to be fixed. I think um, those were sort of the two ends of her spectrum, and she certainly instilled that in me. I've, I've seen her really go to battle in cases when uh, she felt that uh, she could make a difference. And so I think if those two are the two things she's remembered for, um, she'd be happy. Um, she was a person of extraordinary grace and beauty, not just physical beauty, but her spirit was one of those where you felt better for knowing her. Uh, and the, the energy and the passion that she radiated around youth and creating opportunities for youth was an extraordinary opportunity that most of us don't get to share in in our lifetime. She was forever giving. And even when Sheila and Ross came from humble beginnings, and they're still honest and sincere people, and all they do is give. Ross I had known uh, because of his work at Precision Cast Parts as uh, a key executive there. Um, I had uh, met Sheila because of her deep interest in education. Uh, you know, Sheila's a beautiful, beautiful person, and, and so, and Ross being the business person like I am, and you know, we sort of understood our commitment to a community giving back and as a business leader, so I think we both kind of got the message that we need to be role models to tell other business people how important education is, higher education in particular. Sheila was an educator herself, and Ross, a very savvy businessman, um, and they both really looked at sort of the practical aspects of what a significant impact an education, a quality education like PCC offers, can have on the lives of anybody. Ross's leadership on education and support for disadvantaged youth, his leadership on future workforce development, you know, absolutely broadened and deepened the focus and the involvement of the company. Ross and Sheila were both so dedicated to the work that PCC was doing and um, it was inspired in part by their niece, Stephanie. People don't think about the future, they think about the here and the now. With school, that is putting, you're placing an emphasis on your future. And it wasn't until I moved in with Sheila and Ross that I understood that concept of uh, placing value on my future and placing value on my education. The community college, uh, for some people, is kind of the stepchild. You know, it doesn't have quite the pizzazz, uh, but nothing has more impact. They understood that it touched the lives of tens of thousands of people. We had um, the privilege of seeing a number of the new Future Connect students accept their scholarships for the first time. And as we sat there in the audience and watched these students come on stage and we heard cheers from the audience of, you know, that's my mom or that's my dad or, you know, from young children who were so proud to see that their parents were going to be attending college and other students from all corners of, of Oregon and all parts of the Portland metro area. and. Those are the kinds of students that Ross and Sheila have inspired, and those are the kinds of success stories that really make Portland a community and make Portland Community College such a special one. So. They have a strong interest in helping students in the Portland area, and so I think PCC was the perfect match for them in that respect. And she always had so much confidence in her students, and I used to love that um, in her children and her nephews and nieces, but especially in her students. And I think. Um, Everybody deserves to have that confidence, and I think, in fact, my mother's support of the Future Connect program was the fact that she had confidence in, in the Future Connect program to serve students who she may never even meet. All the way to the very end when Sheila was ill, she was thinking about the people that she cared about. She was thinking about her kids in the classroom that she had taught when she had, was an educator. The challenge that even a great teacher would have in serving those students I think helped her to understand that it's not just about having good teachers, it's also about having a support network. And so the notion of uh, a, a program that doesn't just say, hey, we're going to 
pay you to go to school, but we're going to provide you with support and uh, guidance. I think it was a no-brainer for she and my dad. These two different career paths and different ways that they spent their time uh, and different areas of expertise that came together uh, on behalf of education in our community um, is, um, uh, I think, inspiring. It is where they got the most out of both sets of skills and interests. And Ross and she has been an exemplary couple that supported PCC especially and, and entry into the higher education for people of color and people with you know, lesser means. They embody the spirit of a patron in every sense of the word, in terms of their generosity, their humility, their sense of joy and joie de vivre, their um, true commitment to the cause, and their vision for a better world. So I'm really thrilled that they are receiving the Patron Award for Portland Community College.